So I've set up this simple scene. It's got the XYZ RGB dragon from the Stanford scanning repository. I think this one was converted for me by Graham Dretch. Thank you, Graham. And we're going to use this model just to demonstrate some material effects that I've been investigating. And I thought I would share with you what I've discovered. So here's the dragon. And I'll just go into the material lab and show you. If I make the reflection 100%, and I'm going to get rid of the diffuse, and then use metallicy effect, what this does is it brings in the diffuse colour into the reflection and the diffuse colour comes in more where the camera is meeting the surface perpendicularly so that our view is it were exactly facing this part so if I make it black for example then you only see the reflections around the edge which is a nice effect I'll show you that there so we're getting very little reflection where we're facing the surface but where the edges turn away from as we're seeing bits of the sky now I've experimented with this before but it occurred to me today for no very good reason that if I was to choose a color for this okay so I wanted to say this golden color or maybe a blue color I don't know I'm torn now I think I'll go for blue I'll make sure I've got a bit of each channel in which is always makes the colors look better for some reason so I've got a nice deep blue color there and if I render that now you'll see well, I'm not re I've really lost that effect where I'm getting more reflection on the edge because the, the blue color is dominating but if instead of using reflection channel here I use transparency okay so the models disappeared but if I turn the refraction up I get some reflection brought in with the refraction but I also get transmission but I can get rid of the transmission by setting the transparent color and the volume color to black now although in this preview it looks like I'm getting some transmission the reason for that is because in the preview mode it's set in the default bright sky which originally had some I think it was 90% uh, shadow intensity we'll just check out of here temporarily and go into the scalab and I'll show you where the global shadow control here is so if you were to reset the sky it would default reset the sky back to what it was originally in Bryce which is what the previews are set at but now it's at 100 and that's where it wants to be really unless you have a very good reason for setting it down so by following that process we can now have a colored re reflection that's just occurring where the edges are and combine it with the uh, with with the with the transparency effect. I didn't mean to go into the scale lab then I meant to go into the material lab. To combine it with this transparency effect, but it's not really transparent because we've stopped that from happening. So we've got reflection, but coloured reflection, which we couldn't do before, because to to get that, if if I show you, if I go back to reflection now, because I've got colour metallicis bringing the diffuse value through, even though we've not provided any diffuse. But if we use transparency, we get that nice effect. So combine this with, say, some diffusion now and a bit of reflection, and you get an unusual material property. I don't know what you would call this. It's kind of a, a metallic ceramic effect almost, which uh, I thought was rather appealing. I, I, I'm not really sure what you could call that effect. I can't think of a really appropriate name for it, but uh, I really rather, rather like it. The other things you could do while, while uh, investigating this, I suppose, is play with the blurred reflection properties for the material because that's going to have yet another effect because we've got this sort of control that's coming off on, on the low incidence angle across the edges of the model so if I was to take that model and select the ground plane and transfer the material to both those oh, so I'll shift the camera view up a bit so I can point down at the model a bit more right and okay so fair enough that's fairly simple and straightforward. If we go into render options here, go premium effects, I'll set the rays per pixel down a bit so we can preview this. Choose blurry reflections and reduce the maximum ray depth. The level of blur that we get is controlled by the specular halo luminance value. So you can see now it's creating a sort of matte effect on the ground so we've got still got our sunlight which probably we could uh, employ soft shadows now for effect since we're already using a premium effect why not use more premium effects it's, it's not going to have that much influence on the render now so I'll turn the soft shadows up so we've got uh, diffuse reflection now soft shadows and it creates a different material quality again um, this uh, originally I've seen used where you're combining blurred reflections with uh, material uh, colors like this uh, to create a sort of fake ambience before we got to ambience. So you can really 
turn the effect up and change the quality like it's got it at 204 so change the luminance up hold the alt key down to get this menu you've seen me do that many times before so and and now you can see that the, the ground looks quite matte and this material looks quite different and we've lost the the main highlights from it so obviously you can tune the response of this material now with its uh, with the blurred reflection through the specular halo that looks so let's try so I'll try one five six okay there we go you can see now that there's almost an image occurring and if we use the image based lighting use sky sky dome only use sky option here we can create a sky dome from the sky and if we add that to the sky even if we don't use the light sources and you'll note the sunlight's become disabled, so I don't know what effect that's going to have. Just turn the quality down. If we just, even if we don't just use the light source, we could use the reflection with the boosted sky to uh, egg, egg make the effect more extreme. And it's going to render quite efficiently because I've uh, cut out the 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 direct lighting from the sun. So you can see now created a different sort of effect with this material. I'm going to uh, increase the effect a bit more. Okay, and give this a quick render. So anyway, uh, that, that was so uh, just where I was going with this. Just a bit of an experiment, really, with the material properties and uh, playing around with transparency that's been stopped, but using the diffuse color through metallicity to create an effect. Let's turn this up now. Let's try it at 200, where we were about before, where its default value is, isn't it? Okay, so that's uh, let's blurred it some more, or Oops, wrong, wrong lab. I meant material lab there. I'm going to try maximum value again and see how that looks. Because that's going to look quite different. Now you can see that the blurring is so extreme that it's picking up what the surface which is going to appear dark and uh, bits different areas of the sky. So it creates quite an unusual effect. I'm going to pop the sun back in, see how that looks. It's going to bring the light levels up a bit on these edges here. And uh, as you can see, there's massive amounts of noise in this image. So if we're going to get anything out of this, I'm going to have to turn the uh, raise per pixel up to 256 there. And give that a quick render. and we'll see how long it's going to take to render out and what the effect's going to be. Which I, I don't know because, as I said, it's just an experiment. Something I was experimenting with and I thought, well, this is interesting. And I've not seen this documented anywhere else before, so I thought it'd be worth having a little look at it. So um, let's see what this is going to take. Okay, uh, an hour, 50 minutes, two hours. That's no problem, right? So I'll pause the video here and we'll see how that looks when it's done. There then is the finished render. And uh, as you can see, the, the material effect is quite unusual. I've, uh, I've sort of called it a soft pearlescent sheen. Um, that was the closest I could come to describing it. So I hope you'll have an experiment with this yourself and uh, try this in your own renders. Uh, that's the end of the video.